What's up, everyone? Shirasoni here to give you guys another tutorial. Um, <clears throat> this time on part three of hip hop sampling, and this is gonna be on how to use Slice X to sample. You know, for the most part, and with most producers in the game, uh, people use Slice X <clears throat> as a sampler. You know, and it is very good. You know. You could do a lot of things with it. So to get started, we're going to add Slice X right here. Um, the thing you guys have to know is um, actually before I I, um, I used to use Native Instruments Machine and I've used MPC before as well, but um, you got to keep up with the times. People say, I, I've seen people make good music, you know, using those you know, and obviously there's producers that make good music, you know, like Ninth Wonder and all these people, right? But I found out that Slice X, you could do more with a keyboard and a mouse than with the 16 pads and all of that, you know, on the on the MPC or the machine or any kind of MIDI pad that you have. And it takes a while to actually learn it and then, you know, Clicking and doing it with the keyboard might be boring or it might not seem cool, but it actually gets things done faster and is more efficient. Slice X, therefore, is a program that is light years ahead of um, MPC and stuff like that. So, you know, the, at the end of the day, what happened to me was I sold my, um, I sold my, <laughs> my MPC and my machine, and then just ended up using this. So, all right, so first thing we're gonna do is we had Slice X, we're gonna drag it here, okay? So, if you guys play it. Let me add to your channel. All right, so I got a free channel. Obviously, it's playing, right? Um, forget about all these functions up here. Maybe I'll do them in a separate tutorial sometime in the future. But all of this later, it could be done um, on the mixer chain. So you, you guys could use this, but generally, people don't end up using this part. The most important functions here are the ones that could be found in this tool thing right here. Okay. So, most importantly, this is the thing. You guys listen to a part. Then I will highlight it, and then I will click on the scissors right here. Is it here? I can't really find it because, you know, I recently changed to 12.4. No, it's this. And then you're going to do add marker. Okay. No, add region. That's what it is. And then you're going to name this to pluck whatever you want, you know. And then we could go to another part. say I want that vocal sample right there then I'm gonna do this again add region and then vocal one all right so after you guys do this um, if you go to <clears throat> if you go here and then click on the go to piano roll for a slice X then instead of you know your regular stuff right here it should appear as Second. All right, so it should appear like this. Okay, and if you guys um, 
you know, select the length and then it should play right here. Um, important thing to know is you guys could change the pitch of this by going to find pitch and then you guys could do it like that. But I found it um, a lot of the times is easier if you just take another one and then slide to it. So you would make this slide and then you would make this as short as possible. Yeah. And then, you know, in this way, by cutting and sliding and doing all of that to, you know, to your taste, you could make, uh, you could make something out of it. So I'll show you guys what I did for this song. Here, I took this bell sample right here. And obviously, you guys could hear right away that I added a bunch of delay, all these effects on it. So the sample itself just sounds like this. And then the C4 right here, I made it slide down. There. With all the effects on Sort of like a like a crash, and at the same time, it's like it's like a hit, you know. <clears throat> Made it simple like that. Cut out the bells, the vocals. Um, I also did something similar to it, which is I did it and then I pitched it down. The original sample was this. And then the second sample was this. operatic you know singer um, what else did I do uh, yes the strings the strings I cut it up get it sometimes you're gonna have to figure out okay your samples are in what key and what it works but for the most part sampling is just about you know trial and error and you just gotta play around with stuff till you find that sound that you want and then try to make something solid out of it okay so all together it sounds like this <laughs> guys learned something today um this was part three ask me any questions follow me if you guys want to of course you know <laughs>